Good evening. A new bill in the state house would make it easier to find out how many students at your child's school are not vaccinated. Specifically, the bill would list vaccination exemptions. Tonight, some parents worry this could be used to publicly shame parents who choose not to vaccinate their children. Eyewitness News reporter Priya Shreether joins us now. And Priya, how many children in Texas don't get vaccinated? Sarah, according to the Texas Department of Health Services, more than 44,000 children across Texas have exemptions from getting vaccinated. That's up from around 2,000 back in 2003. Across Texas, more than 99% of parents are getting their kids vaccinated. But here in Bear County, there are some schools where anywhere from 5 to 7% of kids are not vaccinated. Some parents believe it's their right to know how many kids are not getting those vaccinations. As a parent, my concern is that my child is in a safe environment, a healthy environment. Um, so if they go to school, an environment where there's a high percentage of non-vaccinated kids, the risk of contracting an infectious disease is higher. That's what House Bill 2249, introduced by Republican Representative J.D. Sheffield from Gatesville, would do. If passed, it would require every public school to report the number of kids not getting vaccinated to the state. However, the bill wouldn't name the kids. Right now, that information can only be found by district. Parents who believe that vaccinations should be a choice fear that the bill would make their children a target of bullying. In a statement to Eyewitness News, Texans for Vaccine Choice said, House Bill 2249 unjustly targets children utilizing vaccine exemptions by focusing only on the number of students utilizing the exemption while ignoring several other campus-level health factors. This creates an incomplete and unclear picture of the actual health of a campus. Campus. It is our position that each and every child in Texas deserves to attend school with full and complete medical privacy, ensuring schools remain safe and free from bullying and harassment based on immunization status. Now for a complete list of the number of students with vaccination exemptions at each of the Bear County Public Schools, you can visit our website, kens5.com. Reporting live, Priya Shreether, Kens 5 Eyewitness News.